Hey everyone. We are doing an exercise. This is a drawing exercise. We are going to start <clears throat> this year. We've already started, but we're going to be doing a lot of design before we get into drawing. We're going to do a lot of design work just to kind of really learn the elements and principles of art and design. And we just finished up our line page. And now we're going to do a quick exercise called the folded page. And the first thing we're going to do a folded page is we're going to take a loose piece of paper and a sharpened pencil and we're going to have a timer, um, which I'm probably not going to use because I like to develop my things, but you know, it's, we're going to do like five minutes at a minimum. The first thing you're going to do is fold your paper in half. You can fold it any way you want in half. It doesn't, you don't have to follow me. You just have to follow the directions, which are posted on Google Classroom. So if you're not checking Google Classroom and reading the directions, we've got a problem. So you wanna make sure that you are reading the directions just to make sure you don't miss anything. So you're gonna fold it again at any random spot. And then you're gonna fold it again, but this time make it crooked. And then you're gonna make one more fold. And so I have this little piece of paper um, and then what they ask for is to take a pencil and draw along the folded edge of the folded paper so that's what I'm doing um, so I'm gonna draw along the folded edges all the folded edges here I'll do that I'm gonna open that just a little so I can get that I'm gonna fold that any fold that you're gonna take your pencil on. So that one, that one, that one, and this one. Just like that. So all of the folded edges, you're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna color that in, okay? Let's see, I have that one. And then you're gonna fold it, unfold it a little bit and just kind of do a couple more folds if you can. See, do I have any folds? Oh, well, it looks like I have all my folds. And then I'm going to open it up. Partially unfold and now unfold the paper. It's fine if there are marks on both sides of the paper. Set a timer. We're going to do five. We're going to do five minutes. Until the timer goes off, respond to the marks on the page. Um, and I'm going to go in and just use some of my folds to kind of develop just a little design. I like my folded design a lot. I'm gonna go in and do that. Kind of make my line there. Um, they asked for a list of things, a dashed line, a dotted line, a swoosh, a swirl, a spiral, a circle, a square, a triangle, and to fill in some shapes. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of spin my paper around and kind of look and see where I want to, to do. So I'm going to start doing some dashes here. And it's not... There's no objective. We're just playing around and responding to the folds. So I'm just gonna go in here and kind of create some dashes. There we go, like that line. And it says a dotted line. So I'm gonna come down here and do some more dashes. I'm gonna do some dots. Here I go with the dots, crazy. Told you about that. Okay, and you do wanna take your time and I'm, see how I'm doing my dashes and my dots together? You can totally do that. This is playing around with the marks, you know? Um, so I'm going to do some more dashes, bring in some dots, and then I think I'm just going to turn it into dots, and I think I'm going to bring it around, bring it up, bring it up, then it says a swoosh, 
So when I think of a swoosh, I kind of think of a kind of a big movie line. So I'm going to come in here and do a swoosh. I'm going to do more than one. Those are really swooshes like that. It's kind of copying here. I'm going to do some swoosh, maybe a swoosh this way too. And I'm going to turn it upside down and then I'm going to look. They want a spiral. So I think I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make a spiral. Come here and make a spiral. And then a swirl. Um, and then a circle and a square, which I think when I look at this, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna bring this in here. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna put a circle, oh, dots here. Do some circles. I'll do a circle here and then I'll fill it all in. Circle. Circle. And then a square. So maybe I'll make a square over here. And then I'm looking at this, I'm gonna turn it upside down again. They want some triangles, which I think I'll just connect here. And then just from here, I have all of the things, but now I'm gonna just doodle and play around with for a while and see what I get. Um, I'm gonna work for just a few minutes and just see what I can come up with. Just gonna cut and then make some of these lines. I'm just gonna bring this over and I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna connect that there. And I'm going to come in with this dash work. Layer my dash work. And then I'm just going to continue to kind of play with the, the design and the, the different things. It does ask to fill in some of the shapes, which I'll go back and do. I'm just going to kind of go in here real quick and create this shape. Come in here. Come on down. Make a shape. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to fill this like that. And then I'm going to come around and I'll do that. And then And I could just keep on working on this all day, but the directions say to flip it over. So this is what I'm gonna do just for time and efficiency. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna look at it and then I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to, what does it say? Turn over page. If you want, you may turn over page and respond to the folded creases on the other side of the paper. I think I'm just gonna take this though and kind of work on the doodle here. I think I'll I'll keep I'll come off the video. That doesn't mean you're done. Just because this video is done doesn't mean you're done. You should go back and finish working on this. Get it to a point where you like. So I'm gonna work on this for a while 
and then I'll post I'll post what it is. This exercise is called the folded page. So you, the folded page kind of guides your drawing. So I think it's kind of it's kind of fun and cool actually. So it does want you to fill in some shapes. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that here before I sign off. And just when I sign off, just I want to keep repeating that it doesn't mean you're done. You're done listening to me go on and on and on, but you're not done with the doodle. So I'm going to continue drawing here and then we'll go from there.